Hi, my name is Miranda, and on this channel we do lots of watercolor goodness and two art subscription boxes every single month. Once in a while we get distracted by another art supply and have a lot of fun with that, so welcome. In today's video we'll be making some progress on the experiment we started with this Himi Mia watercolor set. If you missed the introduction to that, I will link that up here in the corner for you. Our experiment is to see how long it will take to use up this entire palette of 18 colors. And while progress is being made on that little experiment, I will be answering all the questions you guys left for me in the last video for our 1,000 subscriber celebration. Also, stay tuned to the very end because I will be doing a giveaway for three subscribers. Let's get to painting and answering questions. Real quick, before we get started on the 1,000 subscriber Q&A, I got a suggestion from MoMA B about weighing them, and I don't have a scale that is like really tiny amounts, but this is the kitchen scale I have, and I thought I might as well give it a try. We are going to measure this. It's completely dry. Before we use it, I have grams, milliliters, and ounces available as a measurement on this. So anyway, let's measure it and even see if this scale will tell us anything. Right now it's in grams, so I'll write down all of this. So we have 113 grams, 4.0 ounces, <laughs> and 113 milliliters. We are going to do the painting and let it dry completely. I wonder if I should clean it like it is now, because I have it completely clean. It depends, like, am I gonna use the paint for the next painting or not? So if I think that I'll use the paint for the next painting, I'll leave the paint on, let it all dry, and reweigh it. If I don't think I'm gonna use that paint for the next painting, I'll go ahead and clean it just like you see it, and put it back on here and reweigh it. Also, for the painting today, I have had such a hankering lately to do a portrait, so I'm going to do this portrait. It's a little yellow for you guys in the camera, but I'll bring this actual picture up on my computer to use as my reference, anyway. I don't really paint people, so I wanted to give her a try and she has such a beautiful skin tone and I just don't paint people and I guess I say that and I have painted a few people. I painted this baby and this old man, but I don't really feel like I paint people, so I wanted to try it. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today with our Himi Mia paints. Wish me luck. First question, did you go to art school or are you self-taught? I am a self-taught artist. Second question is how many dogs and cats do you have? I have two dogs, a golden retriever whose name is Blanca and I've actually painted her on this channel before in a very abstract manner. So she has been featured on this channel. I'll link that video up here in the corner for you. I have a little miniature Australian Shepherd. He, well, he was supposed to be a mini Aussie but he is 35 pounds and he's not overweight. He's just a much bigger Aussie than he was supposed to be and he's actually the perfect size because I like to mountain bike and hike and run and all of that and he can keep up with me and he is my little cutie patootie. He's actually my son's dog, <laughs> my 16 year old's dog, but I've kind of claimed him. So my son is actually moving to Moab for three or four months this summer and I'm keeping the dog <laughs> for sure. And also it's so funny because last night he took his dog, Duffy, Duffy's the dog's name. I'm just gonna tell you the name. He took Duffy to my brother's house and I had to call and check up and make sure the dog was doing okay and that he was taking good care of him and didn't forget him in the vehicle and was gonna remember to bring him home. <laughs> so I'm like a total helicopter dog mom of my son's dog, yeah. I have three cats, they're so awesome. <laughs> the Calico I have painted on this channel before and I'll try and link that for you as well. Her name is Molly and we rescued her from the shelter when she was six years old and we've had her for, wow, two years now. So she is awesome. She's kind of fat. She came fat from the shelter and we've tried to put her on her diet and that was kind of sort of working. Cats don't really lose weight very easily. <laughs> but then we got the kittens and she kind of steals their food a lot. So we try to keep an eye on that. In fact, I think I just, yeah, she, yeah, she just, the second, how ironic is that, jumped down from where the kitten food is. <laughs> so we don't free feed the cats, but they just don't eat all of their breakfast. And so we try and keep an eye on where the kitten food is and she still gets into it because we're not always right here. Anyway, the kittens. We have the two kittens and I call them kittens, but they are, wow, they're going to be two years old in the calico just jumped on my lap. They're going to be two years old in June. So they're no longer kittens really. So I have the golden one, his name is Bo. 
and then the little striped one, her name is Daisy. We got them from my brother because he did not get his kittens spayed in time and so his kittens had kittens <laughs> when they were like, I don't know, six, eight months old or something really crazy young. And so we took two of them to help him out because they ended up with three litters, I think, before they finally got their cats all spayed, which is kind of a bummer, but they found good homes for them all. Two of them are with me. They're my honeys and I love them and I just wanna squeeze them all the time. Okay, so now that you think I'm weird, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> family. So I had a pretty broad question about anything you'd like to share about your family she would like to know or learn about and that was really sweet. So I don't really know what to share about my family. We're all really close. I have this really fun picture we took at Thanksgiving a couple of years ago. We just got tired of the same old, same old thing and Thanksgiving and decided that that Thanksgiving we were all gonna wear Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> That's us in a nutshell. <laughs> my oldest son is 25 and getting married next month. My middle son is 19 and he is awesome. And my youngest son is 16. He is also awesome. They've held jobs for years. And so I think they're kind of, kind of sort of responsible kiddos and crossing my fingers, right? That's all we can do. Next question is childhood with art. How I started and what inspired me? So the best I can come up with is as a kid, I spent a lot of time alone. Both of my parents worked and so we had after school time and my brother was usually with me on after school time and we'd definitely go raise the neighborhood and find friends and ride bicycles and play Hot Wheels and get in the dirt and go explore places up on the mountains that we probably shouldn't have been. <laughs> but it's Especially during summer break, we had a lot of time alone. So we didn't always wanna hang out with each other. We had like five TV channels and uh, one of them happened to have Bob Ross painting on it and boy did I feel fortunate because <laughs> I got to watch Bob Ross. And so I'm like, hey, I need oil paints, mom. And so she got me some basic supplies and I started painting with oils and just loved it. And so that is my background in oil painting and how I got started with that. And then only recently did I come to learn about and love, love, love watercolor. And so that's how this journey started. And the next question is how I became confident with my art and felt comfortable to start sharing it with the world. I'm not always confident sharing it with the world, <laughs> but I do anyway. And I don't know, I think there is a level that you probably have to get to where you're okay doing a painting on video and putting it up, whether it turns out like you thought or not. And I've been trying to think of like the way to frame the answer to this question. And the best I can come up with is I have tried painting a lot of things and it has surprised me how many of them have come out in a way that I'm pretty happy with. And so I thought, you know what, if, if I'm happy with them, then maybe some other people will be too. <laughs> but really the reason that I started sharing with the world, I didn't even think about the level or quality of my artwork necessarily. I just have all these supplies and I didn't have like a good reason to use them. So I thought by starting my channel and sharing with you guys, that you would give me some accountability because YouTube likes a regular upload schedule, so I have to create a certain amount of artwork each month. And oh my goodness, it has made all the difference in the world. And getting to know you guys and read your comments and just see that you guys are watching my videos, even those of you that don't comment, I appreciate that. And it makes me happy to share my work. And you guys get to see me learn new stuff too all the time. So it's definitely a learning process and I can't wait for my art to improve. Since I'm actually doing my art now, it can only but go up, right? That's my theory anyway. All right, and the last question, and this one was a little bit hard. I have so many cool supplies, but the question is, if you lost all your current art supplies, which ones would you replace first? Ah, <laughs> this is hard. So all of my art supplies, okay, I have oil paints, I have watercolor paints, I have acrylic paints, I have lots of markers, I love markers. Who knows what other miss? oh, pencils, colored pencils, ink tints pencils, all kinds of art supplies. But I have a list for you of the ones that I would definitely replace first. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Okay. All right, first thing I would probably replace would be a paintbrush. And I wouldn't replace it with this Winsor & Newton Cotman one, which is what this is. This is a round size 10 from Winsor & Newton. And it's the one that I kind of go to all the time. But if I lost it for some reason and didn't have any other brushes to use and had to replace it, I would try the Escoda round 10, probably the little travel one that has the cap that goes on it 
because I really, really want to try that and it would be a really good opportunity to do that. The next thing I would buy is some watercolor paper. And if I could only buy one thing of each thing, so I'm just assuming that this question is limited, like you could only buy a limited amount to get painting again or get arting again. Is arting even a word? So I'm assuming you can't buy like multiple brushes, multiple papers and all of that in this question. So I would buy this etcher, Let's see if I can get in this green there, this etcher A4 size sketchbook. This is a cotton sketchbook and I'll link all of these supplies below in case you want to go check them out. But I like it because you can do really big artworks or you can, or you can divide them into smaller artworks and not really be limited on your size. I would get this core 24 tube set here and I would have to get the empty pans and fill them from the tubes that I set up in this palette that the 24 tubes that came in because I often like working with dried paints. I live in Colorado, it's super dry here, so it doesn't matter. Somebody said that core doesn't set up really well. I've never had a problem with them, but I'm always in a really dry climate. So I can put them in the pans, use them, and this is what I would replace my paints with if I lost all my paint. And that was hard. I mean, I have a lot of palettes and I had to choose just one, so that's, that's what it would be. I would buy a kneaded eraser because those are uber important. <laughs> I would need a pencil to sketch with, so I would buy this green Faber-Castell one that I have mentioned several times because the point goes all the way in so there's nothing sharp sticking out when you're traveling and then it comes out in that dual thing when you're ready to go use it. And I'll link that below too. This one's awesome and it comes in a lot of different colors. So mine happens to be green, but when I was linking this last time, there was red, white, blue, light blue, orange, all kinds of fun colors. So I need that. And this comes with a real tiny eraser. Look how awesome that tiny eraser is. So we'll have this eraser and the kneaded eraser will be set. If I lost all my crappy masking tape that I've been trying to use up for years, <laughs> I would probably buy some fancy washi tape. It would be so fun to have washi tape. I've never had washi tape before. Okay, that's not exactly true. I do have like this really old washi tape that I found in my scrapbooking stuff, but it doesn't even peel off unless I hold it in front of the heater. So I don't really count it. Last thing I think I would absolutely need to paint because I have reached for it so many times is masking fluid. And then I have this little rubber tipped or silicone tipped applicator that I use to put all my masking fluid on. Well, that's a wrap of all the questions that I received, at least by the time I'm making this video. So if you had a question and you put it in there and I didn't answer that, it just means that I saw it after this video was created and I'll add that either to the next video or the next Q&A or something. Okay, I put the like real life filter on the camera. So it's looking like this is more reality. The one I recorded all the time-lapse stuff was in my other filter and it made it all really yellow. So this is looking pretty accurate. And I don't know, there's probably details I've missed. Oh yeah, like stuff in her mouth needs to be darker. Shoot, <laughs> but I'm getting really tired of working on it, but I should probably finish that up. So yeah, I'll find like little nitpicky things that I need to come in and work on. But here we have it and we can kind of get an idea of how much paint's left. This has a little bit of moisture in it that needs to dry still, so I'll have to do that. I really like this background, and like that could be darker. Any, oh, and I was gonna put some hair strands. See, there's things, there's things. <laughs> but one thing that was interesting is that I put so many darn layers of paint on this face because I was trying to get it right. It, like, that would make me happy with it all, and uh, it really, this paper took all those layers really nicely. So anyway, I can't paint and talk at the same time. That was really cool because I just kept layering and layering and layering and layering. And it just kept taking it and taking it and taking it. So it was a good thing because I abused it greatly. So yeah, the edger paper really, really held up. And then look in this purple background. Do you see all of that? granulation and separation. It's gorgeous. Holy moly, is that gorgeous. All right, let's take the tape off. I forgot to do that. That would have been nice to show you guys. I'm not being very careful, so I'm pulling some of this paper off with it. Oops, you can tell I'm tired. This has been a really long project. I did a portrait in watercolor years ago. It took me like five minutes, but it was a very 
stylized kind of portrait. I did finally find that painting because I had been missing it for a while. So there it is. I like it, I like it a lot. So this is the one that only took me a few minutes to do. So very stylized lady. There we have it. So that, that was like five, ten minutes and this, boy, I haven't even added up all the footage, but I had to empty my SD card, replace the battery in the camera twice. <laughs> lots, lots of things. It's all washed off. Let's weigh it because the kids are home. <laughs> 112 grams. So we went down one gram. See if it even registers in ounces. No, it still shows 4.0 ounces <laughs> and same milliliters. Okay. There you have it. Let's get on to the giveaway. So I've been saving stuff away in my giveaway bin so that I could do a giveaway when we reach a thousand subscribers because for me, that's a pretty big landmark and I'm very excited and grateful that there are a thousand people out there that will actually watch my videos. So thank you again. So I'm going to switch the camera here in a moment down to the desk and show you the giveaway items and explain the rules on how to enter. Here are the giveaway items. This Hemi Mia capsule set. I featured this in a Christmas video. This is very reflective, so you'll probably see me. Pops off, put that aside so it doesn't reflect anything weird. Comes with a little pad of paper, and then the cool palette. This is the trifold one and 18 colors. I've really enjoyed working with these paints. I don't know if they're light fast yet. We just have the test in the window as of January 26th, so we'll find out. But regardless, this palette is awesome. These paints are a joy to paint with. I just don't know if they're light fast, but for sketchbook work and stuff, who cares? And it comes with a water brush. So this is a really fun set and it can travel in this capsule here. That's one thing a winner can choose from. Next is this awesome set here and I will add a brush to it. This is the Portable Painter Micro. This has been featured on my channel several times. I have tested mine. This is a brand new one, several times. <laughs> There's some funny travel videos with this little set. It is so cute. There we go. Look at that. These pop in the sides, so check out those videos. I'll try and link them below if I can remember. And then this side is for water, but I would recommend not using it for water. It doesn't work that well. And then this comes with the extra pans, so you can have either full pans, half pans, or an assortment of both in here. So it's pretty versatile, or you can have multiple palettes that you can switch out whenever the mood strikes. So that is a giveaway item. Next are these chameleon markers that I just featured in the last video. These things were darn impressive and way fun. They totally surprised me, but I don't need to keep them, so I'm giving them away. And then the crescent marker boards and lettering boards, even though I tested on one of the sheets, might as well give those away. These weren't Impressive. I didn't like these very well, but maybe somebody needs them and I don't have another marker surface that I can add to these in the giveaway. So I figured I would just add this set of liners because these are pretty nice and, and they come in good sizes. Next is this. This is the Strathmore sketchbook. I think I pulled one sheet out of this completely out, so it's not even in there. You can't even tell that it was used. And there's a hundred sheets. It is for dry media only. It's pretty fine paper, see, just for drawing. So because of that, I would add in these Brunzeal colored pencils. You can see I did use them for that project in that subscription box. So these are used. In fact, most of this stuff is with the exception of the Hemi Mia watercolor and the little mini palette. And in addition to that would be these Derwent Academy sketching pencils in these sizes right there. So that will be something someone can choose from if their name gets drawn. And the last item that the winners can choose from would be all of these clay tools. So we have 2.2 pounds minus a tiny corner that I used of the Sculpey Air Dry Clay, the Potter Select Wood Sculpting Tools, these little rubber brayer tools. I call them brayers. I don't know why, I just do. This is very similar to what I use for applying masking fluid. It's a little stiffer, but same concept, you could probably use it for masking fluid. And then the metal sculpting tools. So they don't all fit in here very well, but here are the giveaway options. If your name gets drawn, which one are you going to choose? I know I did say that this is open to international, but really, really consider if you are not in the US, if this is something you would actually really want and use or not before you enter, because <laughs> it will be quite expensive to send, especially something 
as heavy as this clay through the mail to you guys, but I, I'm willing, I'm willing, but just think about it. Like, don't enter just because it's a free giveaway. Would you actually want something that's here? There will be three winners in this giveaway. Anyway, the way this will work is the person that gets randomly drawn first will get to choose first from those five items. The person that gets randomly drawn second will get to choose from the remaining four items, and the third person drawn randomly will get to choose from the remaining three items. So hopefully everyone who gets drawn will at least get to get something that they would enjoy. So that's the hope, fingers crossed, we'll see how this goes. So the way to enter the giveaway contest is to comment down below, but you must include the phrase, enter me, and I'll put that on the screen right here. Okay, so include that phrase in your comment somewhere because I know some of you will want to comment and you don't want to enter the giveaway. Well, maybe you don't want to enter the giveaway. So if you don't want to enter the giveaway, you can just put your comment regularly and I'll still read and respond to it normally, but it won't be included in the giveaway. So to be included in the giveaway, the phrase enter me must be in your comment somewhere. All right, your comment must be down there before midnight on Tuesday, March 9th, Mountain Standard Time. I'll put out an extra video for you guys on Wednesday the 10th with the giveaway winner results. Then the winners just have to respond to me, give me their information, all that jazz, and we're good to go. So good luck to everyone who enters. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are awesome, and here is a virtual hug to all of you. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Also, I need to tell you guys, I broke my buying freeze just this once because this pigment is going out of production. So I decided to pick up a tube of the PR-168. I think it was a worthy thing to break my buying freeze for, and I will try not to do it again in the future. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I didn't really like that. I didn't really like that. Art subscription boxes every single month. Why is that word so dang awkward? While we're, we're <clears throat> did that make sense? I'm not really sure. And while we're, we're uh, while we're, we're, I can't say that together. We are, and while progress is being made. Yes, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So the first question is, did you go to art school or are you, are, why can't I say are or were or we're today? Her name is Molly and we rescued, <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> can talk, I can talk. Now my eyes are wandering, can't laugh hard. Turn my phone ringer off this time. Now as long as the fireplace fan doesn't come on, we will be set. We don't, uh, we don't, and we don't free feed the kittens or the cat. <laughs> we don't free feed, we do not. <laughs> <laughs> the cat is bonking like nose butting my arm so that I will pet her. So let me kick her off real quick. The next question is, what is it? Oh yeah, I would get, wait, where is my brush? Hang on, hang on. Well, that wraps up all the questions that I received on the day or, uh, <laughs> there's the wood stove fan, great. <laughs> all right, okay, got that on sometime on Tuesday the 10th. That is not a Tuesday, that is a Wednesday. <laughs>